Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll give a demonstration of simple Oracle Document Access or SODA for PLSQL. SODA is a feature of Oracle REST Data Services, but this PLSQL interface for SODA was introduced in Oracle Database 18C. We discussed SODA for REST in a previous video. It probably makes sense to watch that video before this one. We'll assume you already have a suitable database with an ORDS installation. There are links in the description to explain how to do that, as well as a link to an ORDS YouTube playlist. We connect to a privileged user and create a test user called SODA user. We grant it the Create Session and Create Table privileges. We also grant it the SODA app role. We connect to the test user. We don't need to enable ORDS for the schema to use SODA for PLSQL, but this will enable SODA for REST also. We enable ORDS for the schema using the Enable Schema procedure in the ORDS package. We've used a URL mapping pattern or schema alias that matches the username. We wouldn't normally do this, preferring to give a friendly alias. Now we're ready to start. Documents are grouped into collections. It probably makes sense to keep different types of documents in separate collections, but you could keep a variety of documents in a single collection if you wanted to. Collections are managed using the DBMS SODA package. We check if a collection exists by attempting to open it. If the open collection function returns a null, we know the collection doesn't exist. If the collection does exist, a reference to it will be returned as a SODA collection T type. The create collection function creates a new collection and returns the collection reference as a SODA collection T type. Remember, the collection name is case sensitive. On the database, we can see a table has been created for the collection. Notice the name is quoted as it's case sensitive. This table is essentially a key value table. The ID is the key and the value is the JSON document column with the JSON stored as a blob. From 20C onward, this is likely to use the new JSON data type. The list collection names function returns a list of available collections as a soda col name list T type. We can loop through them to display the available collections. The drop collection function drops the specified collection and returns a status of 1 if it's successful or 0 if it fails. The rest of the examples require the collection, so we'll recreate it. We have to open a collection before we interact with the documents it contains. We should test for not null to check the collection is open, but we'll miss that out to save space. A new document is created using the SODA document T constructor. There are overloads to create documents from varchar2, blob and clob content. We'll use a blob to match our collection table. We insert the document into the collection using the insert one member function of the collection type. This returns a status, which we display to show the document was created. Some of the examples need a variable to hold a key value, so we'll create that now. The insert one member function just returned a status. If we need to retrieve the system generated key, we should use the insert one and get member function. This returns a document type containing the metadata. We capture the key and display some of the metadata. We retrieve a document using the find one member function of the collection type. We pass in the key we captured previously. This returns a document containing both the metadata and the document contents, which we display. To update an existing document in the collection, we create a new document to replace it. Then we use the replace one member function of the collection type, 
passing in the key of the existing document and the replacement document. This returns a status telling us the operation was successful. The replace one and get member function is similar, but it returns a document containing the metadata of the updated document, which we can display. We delete a document using the remove one member function of the collection type. We pass in a key and it returns a status to tell us if the operation is a success. The linked article contains more information about custom collections, but this should give you an idea of how to use SODA for PLSQL to interact with a document store. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.